Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're having a good day and if not, I hope I can make it a little better. So a couple of weeks ago, I bought this and a Hoo Hoo alcohol marker sketchbook. And you know what? I think it's about time I tried it. Let's try it together. <laughs> So for those of you who are regular viewers to this channel will know that this is my usual sketchbook but I really want to relegate it to really just sketching because at the moment I sometimes have ink drawings in here as well which I do for this channel but I really want to get it to the point where it is just my sketches for ideas and have a special book just for ink drawings. So when I saw that Ahuhu did do a sketchbook, especially for alcohol markers, I wanted to get it. For those of you who don't know, Ahuhu are alcohol marker creators. They're kind of the geniuses behind the affordable versions of Copic markers. If you're ever interested in getting into alcohol markers, but don't want to spend the pretty penny that is getting Copic markers, I really do recommend investing in some Ahuhu markers first. There's very little difference in them. So this is the book. It has a plastic cover that sort of feels like it is replicating animal skin. And if you can see the grain in it, it almost looks like uh, skin or fur. And in the top is the Ohuhu logo. This is the bit of paper that came around it. It says Ohuhu, 78 sheets. 210 by 210 millimeters or 8.3 by 8.3 inches. So this is their square sketch pad. They also do an A4 sized one and the weight of the paper is 120 pounds by 200 GSM. So it's quite thick paper for alcohol marker paper. They have a little brand slogan at the bottom, which is create something wonderful today on Ohuhu marker paper. And on the back, it's just supplier information so we have a little look here on the back is just more like oh hoo hoo where you can get it and supplier information again it does come with a handy dandy elastic band so that you can keep the book together when you're not using it it also comes with a page marker so you can mark whichever page you're working on. The paper itself is white. Really quite thick for marker paper. I'm used to marker paper being very thin, so this is quite exciting. And it's very smooth. And that's normal, sorry. <laughs> and if you look, you can actually see that there is a perforation line on each piece of paper. So if you did want to remove the paper, you can do that. I don't plan on removing the paper. I want this to be a, a book of art. I want it to be nice looking art. I want it to be more than a sketchbook. <laughs> but I do want to keep it as a book. Norma, however, just wants to use it as something to stand on. Are we done yet, Norma? Thank you. <laughs> and yes, the paper is very smooth. I'm not used to having paper this thick be this smooth, so I'm really excited. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the smoother the paper, the easier it is to blend with using alcohol markers. And the reason the paper is so thick is so that you can draw on both sides without leak through. Editing Rachel here. After talking with a friend, it is in fact the Ahuhu alcohol pad with a white cover where you can draw on both sides of the page. The black cover does not promise to be bleed proof. But just in case there is leak through, they've also included this ink catcher sheet, which you would put underneath the page you're working on to protect the rest of the book. If we look at the front of the book, it's just protected. And if we look at the back, there's an envelope for, I guess, 
storing any sort of loose ideas you might have, which is really cool. Well, now I've explored the sketchbook, <laughs> shall we actually make some art in it? Here are some sketches of tree frogs I did in preparation for the frog vending machine I painted earlier in the year. I normally use my Oxford Helix erasable colouring pencils to sketch in, but I only had a normal pencil with me, so that's why the lines look grey instead of my usual coloured lines. So, big disclosure, my initial aim of this video was to record all the art I did on the left side of the sketchbook spread, but I'm clearly a bit rusty as I forgot to press record whilst creating that side of the sketchbook. But that doesn't mean we can't look at it together. I basically coloured fantastical variations of frogs, because frogs are kind of amazingly coloured anyway. I had no idea that frogs came in so many different colours. And looking at them now, they kind of look like they've all been painted with different Neopets brushes. Do you remember Neopets? You got your basic pet and then you could buy paintbrushes to give them different colour schemes. So like there was the rainbow brush, the fairy brush and ooh, the fire brush. I guess they must have been subconsciously in my mind whilst I was colouring these frogs. Do you have a favourite? I think my favourites are the fairy frog and the fire frog. And in case you're wondering, I'm using Ohuhu alcohol markers on this paper, both the pastel set and their old bullet and chisel nib sets. I think it's only fair that the first pieces of art I do in this sketchbook are using the Ohuhu markers.
really know what I wanted to do for the cup. All I knew is I didn't want it to be plain. So first things first, I decided to be fancy and give it a gold rim. That delaying tactic over with, I finally had to decide what I wanted to do with the rest of the cup. I could have left it just white, but I thought that would still be too plain. In the end, I was inspired by the colours of the tadpole further down on the side of the page, and I decided to do a blue and white themed cup, like you'd see in an antique shop. And the pattern would be inspired by a pond. And here's the tip for you, if you ever feel like what you've drawn looks like it's floating on the page, give it a shadow, it instantly grounds it. I thought it would be cute to add sprinkles to the frog's cream, so I busted out my Posca colouring pencils, as they're pretty good at layering on top of anything. I also decided to use the white Posca pencil to add highlights. However, I found it was a bit yellow toned, so later on I used an actual Posca pen to add even more white highlights. However, that came out kind of yellow toned too. I guess Posca's white is a warm white. Here I messed up putting the wrong colour on the cup. I should have just left it as alcohol marker, but oh well, I think I managed to fix it in the end. Let me know what you think. And finally, I'm adding orange as a background to the picture. Orange is the opposite to blue on the colour wheel, so it should really make the blues in the frog and the cup pop. Here's my finished spread of fantastical froggies. So I guess the most important thing now is to see if the ink actually did go through the paper or not. Let's check this side. Oh, it did. What about this side? It did. 
And it did also go on the sheet. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Hmm, we'll have to work out what to do now so that we can use every page. Well, anyway, thank you for making it to the end of the video with me. I'd love to know what your favourite part was, if you could leave a comment in the comment section below. Which is your favourite froggy? I think my favourite is the fairy and the fire froggy. And of course our cup of tea froggy. If you could like, subscribe, turn on all notifications and share this video, that would be amazing. You can follow me at Enchanted Violin on Instagram, TikTok and Threads. Links will be in the description box below. As well as links to my online comic companions, my Patreon and my Ko-fi. And I'll see you next time for more. Bye!